If your boat is flooding and your pumps can't keep up, the U.S. Coast Guard may send an aircraft to deliver a P-1B Honda dewatering pump, which will be able to pump 120 gallons of water a minute. This will match the speed of a 2-inch hole 2 feet below the waterline. Keep the canister upright when removing the lid. Do not smoke. There may be gas fumes in the can. In the can you will find a flashlight, a laminated set of instructions, a ribbed suction hose with a strainer on the end, two gas canisters for the pump, and the pump itself. Beware of placing the pump in an enclosed space when it's running due to the carbon monoxide emissions. Unravel the blue discharge hose. Make sure there are no kinks in the hose. Do not cut off the discharge hose end cap. Once water is being pumped, the discharge hose must be held in place because water will come out very fast and with a lot of pressure. Attach the ribbed suction hose to the dewatering pump. Use cam cleats to secure the hose to the pump. This hose is about 15 feet long. Immerse the end of the suction hose into the flooding area. Hold the end of the hose in place below the water so the prime is not lost once the pump is going. One fuel tank will run the pump for about two and a half hours. Attach the fuel tank with the quick disconnect fuel line. Open the fuel tank vent. If you change tanks quickly, the engine will keep running for a bit without shutting off the pump. Switch the fuel valve lever to the on position. Turn the choke on. Some pumps have an on-off switch. Make sure this switch is in the on position. Prime the pump. This may take about a minute. When water starts spitting out, the hose has filled up. If the engine does not start in two pulls, turn the choke off completely and try again. Once the engine has started, turn the choke off and walk the throttle lever up to the maximum throttle position. If the engine is running and water is not flowing, you may need to prime the pump again. Be prepared to adjust controls as needed once the engine starts running. Once the pump is running, mark the water level to track its progress. To turn off the pump, simply disconnect the fuel line and soon the engine will stop running. If the flooding is under control and the pump is no longer needed, set a flooding watch and maintain contact with the Coast Guard until you're safely in port. Most vessels bilge pumps cannot handle the capacity of a dewatering pump. If you can, carry your own dewatering pump and start it up every 90 days to make sure it will work properly in the event of an emergency.